Hey guys, this is the artwork that I created last week and I gotta say, I didn't have any videos planned for this week, but that was until I came across this. In this video, I will teach you how to generate the most beautiful art that you've ever seen in your entire life, like this one and this one. Right, so as you can see, this looks really cool. So naturally, I got interested and then he said this. And the best part is, you don't need to know any coding and we're going to do this all for free. What? Now that had me excited. And I think you know where this is going now. So I decided to run the algorithm to try to recreate some of my own artworks but with a different style. This should be interesting. So I watched the whole video and I clicked on the link in his description and it got me to this place. And after some trial and error, I got the hang of it. Now if you want to do this by yourself, I highly recommend watching his tutorial and I'm gonna put a link to that video in my description. So go and check it out and I promise you that this one is definitely worth your time. So anyway, once I understood the basics, I came down here to this website and I ran these code blocks. So basically code blocks are these blocks of code that you can see here. So how you run them is by going over here and clicking on the run button. And when you click on it, a few notifications are gonna pop up and you just have to click run anyway. Now it says here that it recommends more RAM but I mean I got 16 gigs of it so I guess that's enough. I'm not too sure if it would work on 8 gigabytes and although it took some time on my laptop, 16 gig was actually quite fine. And after that I ran the next code blocks which was this one and this one. So once you run these code blocks a green check mark would show up right next to it. And then I ran this one as well. And now moving on to the art generator parameter which is the fourth step and this is the most important step because this is where the magic happens. So basically this algorithm uses keywords to create art. So all I did over here is insert some keywords to describe the artwork that I wanted to create. As for me, I wanted to recreate this artwork of mine which I had titled quote unquote the spirit of the snow. And I know that the AI isn't that smart to understand that I mean quote unquote a magical stack of all things when I type in spirit. So I had to be much more specific than that. So I tried out different strings of keywords accompanied by the name of this artist that I found on ArtStation whose style I really liked. And from what I understood from the tutorial that I had watched, you do this so that the algorithm gets as much references as it can. And then I changed the height and width to the maximum which is 500 pixels and then I ran the code block. And just in case if you're wondering, I did indeed try this with different names of artists and the results every single time was different and pretty cool as well. So anyway, after that I ran the final code block which was in fact the art generator itself. It took some time to get going but once it started, it was time to wait. So waiting, I did. A little longer than a few minutes later. So the algorithm ran in the background while I did absolutely nothing. And depending on the capabilities of your system, the algorithm will provide you new iterations of the artwork faster or slower. And it was pretty much up to me to decide when to stop the process, but the more time I gave it, the better the artwork turned out after every iteration. And finally, I went ahead and did the same process for a few other artworks that I had created, and this is the result. <laughs> 